Hi, thanks for joining me today. I'm Jennifer Morgan. I'm the Hunter Education Program Coordinator with the New Mexico Department of Game and Fish. In case you missed last weekend's segment on Facebook, I covered how to safely carry a firearm in the field. Today I'm going to focus on proper and ethical shot placement on a big game animal. Now you are going to need a few things for this activity today. You're going to need a Hunter Education Manual. If you don't have one, that's okay. You can download one for free at the link provided on the bottom of the screen. You're also going to need a sharpened pencil, some tape, and you're going to need to print off the three animal overlays from the link provided on the bottom of the screen. Make sure that you print off both pages. You're going to have somebody help you tape them together so you don't see the vitals on the other side. You'll need that later. Now before we get into shooting an animal, it's important that you do your homework on the range before any hunt. Become familiar with your bow or your firearm, determine your maximum effective range, practice your sight in, and it's also important to practice from the various shooting positions and off of shooting sticks. So we're talking about vitals. What does that mean of animals' vitals or vital area? The vitals are the heart, the lungs, and the liver. Now some of you might be thinking head as well. Well, that is very important. Our brains are vital to our existence. And of course, if you're going to be shooting a turkey, you're going to shoot them in the head. But we're talking about big game animals such as deer and elk. When shooting an animal in the vitals, it's important that you know where they lie on the animal. Typically, they're right behind the front shoulder. That's where you're going to aim. That's the vital area. That area is about the size of a paper plate. If you're going to shoot at an animal at a distance, it's more effective you shoot at a bigger area than something smaller like shooting an animal in the head. So just increase your chances of success by aiming for that bigger vital area of the heart, the lungs, and the liver. Sometimes while hunting, that animal might not present the best shot for the vitals. You might have to wait for that animal to step out from the brush or to turn slightly to get that quick, humane harvest. Patience is everything while hunting. Don't hurry your shot. A good broadside shot on an animal will give you the best chance for hitting those vitals. A slightly quartering away angle is also very effective. Never shoot at an animal that's facing straight away from you. There are no vitals exposed for that animal. So now that you have a little bit more information on shooting and aiming for the vitals on an animal, let's practice. Go ahead and take, let's say your deer, and we're gonna start practicing on this. Take your sharpened pencil, and you're gonna shoot this deer where you think the vitals are. And you're gonna poke your pencil all the way through, just like you're gonna shoot it. So after you poked your pencil through, then you'll turn over that animal to see where in the vitals that you hit. I highly re recommend doing this with a friend or a family member and compare your shots. See who can get closest to the heart. But remember, the vitals are heart, lungs, and liver. That will determine a quick humane harvest for any big game animal. So practice each one of those on the deer, the elk, and the bear. See who gets the closest to the heart and compare each one's shot placement. Also pay special attention to if the animal's moving. Did that change your shot placement at all? Or on a different type of animal, like a bear. So have fun, make it a friendly competition, and we'll see you next time. If you want to challenge yourself even more, visit the virtual hunting activity on the link provided at the bottom of the screen. You can also pick up some great shooting tips from Hunters Connect at the link provided on the bottom of the screen as well.